The Maple Leafs host the Carolina Hurricanes in their 66th game of the season here tonight, and in what might be surprising to some people, this is only the second time so far this season this Maple Leafs team has been an underdog in the betting market at home. And now, if you're sitting there wondering to yourself, when was the last time that the Leafs were that home underdog? Well, you'd have to go back to December of this year when the Leafs played actually the Carolina Hurricanes, losing that one 3-2. to two. So only their second meeting so far this season. The Hurricanes have been favored in both and favored in Toronto in both of these. So interesting to see how that one has shaped up. But I think a deserving number for the Carolina Hurricanes, who have been a really good team so far this season, continue to add at the deadline, look like they're continuing to build, getting some goaltending back. But let's not talk about the Carolina Hurricanes here. Let's focus in a little bit more on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, despite a little bit of a scare at morning skate here this morning, Ilya Samsonov will be ready to go for tonight's game and will take the net for the Maple Leafs. He's been incredible since he came back from the Marlies on his little bit of a break away from the team. You saw Nick Alberga talk about it here. You saw Ron McLean talk about it on the morning take show it seems like Ilya Samsonov just needed some time away, some time to reset, and it's done wonders for his game so far this season. Now, Ilya Samsonov looks to continue to build that here tonight against this Canes team in what's going to be a really tough matchup. We're talking about those kind of where are you in relative terms to other Stanley Cup contender uh, games? These measuring stick games of sorts. We saw it against the Bruins. We saw it against the Rangers. Well, now Samsonov's going to get the net here tonight against yet another team that we consider one of the contenders around the NHL this year with Rod the Bod and his Carolina Hurricanes. So, will Samsonov be able to keep it going here tonight? I hope so. He did take that shot in an awkward spot here this morning at Morning Skate, but looks like everything's okay and he'll be ready to go. Now, outside of that, this Leafs team is dealing with some other injuries. We saw Callie Yarncroke injured in the game on Thursday night against the Philadelphia Flyers. Mitch Marner continues to remain out of this lineup. So, we're going to see some different lines. We see Pontus Holmberg get an opportunity there on the first line alongside Austin Matthews and Tyler Bertuzzi. Matthews obviously scores his 55th goal on Thursday night against the Flyers. Tyler Bertuzzi gets on the board there again with another point. He obviously had the one taken away where... He had one of the most incredible tips I've probably ever seen. We were looking at what might be another Tyler Bertuzzi game, but obviously has that one removed. But Bert has been on a heater here now and did get the goal from assisted from Austin Matthews earlier in that Flyers game. So those two continuing to build chemistry. We'll see what Pontus Holmberg is able to do in his opportunity up there on that first line. Now, some of the other shakeups that we see. John Tavares slots down to the third line center role here yet again. He's going to be centering Matthew Nyes and Nick Robertson, who, as we saw Jay and we saw Nick talk about on that morning show yet again, this could be the opportunity Nick Robertson needs to come in here and seize that NHL spot. Yarn Croak goes down, and obviously when he comes back, he's going to get priority, not just because of his seniority, but because how well he's playing before, and on top of that, the fact that Sheldon Keefe just absolutely loves the guy. But that being said, this could be an opportunity for Nick Robertson to showcase his skills, showcase the fact that he deserves to be an NHL player, and if he's going to be playing alongside John Tavares, it might help him kind of format and mix into that role a little bit better where you're going to be looking at him not as much in saying, oh, well, he doesn't fit in your bottom six because if you're playing with Matthew Nyes and John Tavares, guess what? It's not really that much of a bottom six. It's a little bit of a faux bottom six. So maybe he can take this opportunity, seize the moment, and show us that he is truly an NHL player who deserves a spot here. So that's one of the other shakeups. Now, obviously, outside of that, Max Domi moves back to center. We're going to see here now tonight, Bobby McMahon along on the left side and that left wing with William Nylander over on the right wing. You know what? I'm fine with it. I think Bobby McMahon has deserved the ice time. He's deserved the accolades. He's deserved the recognition after almost being sent down to the Marlies and potentially having his NHL season come to an end. They say, hey, you know what? You got to go in there because some guys are sick. He scores a hat trick and all of a sudden the guy's lighting the world on fire. So Good on you, Bobby McMahon. Keep it going here tonight and see what you can do against this Canes team who's going to match up well lines one through four. So interesting to see how these lines have shaken out, but that's not the only changes we're going to see. We also have noted in yesterday's practice, power play lines. 
We know Sheldon Keefe loves the blender. He loves to turn it on and he loves to get that thing running. Well, one of the things we're seeing here is the change of the units. He's got Timothy Lilligren and Morgan Riley now here playing on that top unit. Not the biggest fan myself, but we'll see what Keefe has cooking here because John Tavares, Austin Matthews, and William Nylander do remain on that first unit as well, which is going to lead us into tonight's best bet presented by Bet99. You must be 19 plus. Please play responsibly. It is your local Canadian sports book and online casino built by Canadians for Canadians with top tier customer service, fast payouts, and smooth transactions. Bet 99 should be your choice of sports book. But tonight's best bet, we're going to be going with John Tavares to score a power play point there at plus 375 for a quarter unit. So again, we've been playing these $100 unit sizes. We're going to go a quarter unit here. We won the best bet on Thursday night with Matthew Nyes. Anytime goal score plus 475 nice big hit for us there we're up units so far on the season we're two and two uh, of the bets that are being given out this year we're even record 500 but we are up units we have won some money we're taking some bigger shots uh, on some of these guys with some longer odds and i'm going to continue to do that here tonight john Tavares, power play point plus 375 if you're wondering why this is the look frankly it's very simple for me we bet Bertuzzi at plus 475 when he was on the unit. I thought that was mispriced. I thought he was kind of just, or 425, excuse me. I thought that was just in a position where, hey, you're pricing him as if he's a second unit guy, whatever. Look, John Tavares, this guy has been unbelievable on the Leafs power play. He gets net front and is in a position to be able to put pucks home, whether it's from tips from the point, whether it's Morgan Riley, Timothy Lilligren, if it's Austin Matthews feeding him, William Nylander feeding him, it doesn't matter. The guy makes his money in front of the net and specifically on the power play. He gets back to that first unit. I feel like if things aren't going well with them, the first change that's going to be made it's not going to be with the forwards. It's going to be taking one of those defensemen away, and I think that they'll leave John Tavares out there on that first unit. So at plus 375 for him to record a power play point tonight, that's my best bet. Hope you guys enjoyed today's game preview. Enjoy the game tonight. We'll see you right here after the final buzzer for Leafs Nation After Dark.